Hello there, everybody, and welcome to this feature presentation on YouTube. I am King Mac, your hamburger pal. Thank you all for watching. Be sure to enjoy a hot, fresh cheeseburger along with some delicious golden french fries, a tasty milkshake, and a nice soft drink. Also, be sure to grab some hot buttery popcorn while you're at it as you enjoy this episode of TT Burger Game Reviews on YouTube. Hey buddy! Welcome back. You're watching TT Burger Game Roots here on YouTube and I'm your host Tony. I hope you're enjoy enjoying the week of Thanksgiving, eating a lot of turkey, spending time with your family and friends and just enjoying the relaxing of not being able to work and everything and more and more and more. And welcome to another episode here of the, the Virginia by Atari Classic Remake franchise review. We're looking at games that are for the Atari and Arcade and remade accounts like the PlayStation stuff. And it's episode 282, part 3 of 5 parts. So far, we're off to a bad start here. Two bad games. There's gotta be at least one or two good games in here. Stuff that's for sure. There's gotta be runners somewhere. Before I get started, I want to give a shout out to everyone who has supported this channel for the last 7, seven years. If for you guys, this channel would not be as big as today. And from the bottom of my heart, I thank you all. I hope you all are having a great holiday and happy Thanksgiving and hope you're all having a wonderful day. Now we need to get started here before we even get started. Here's a Atari style TT for a recap to show you what you missed. And I took a look at Pong, the next level for the PlayStation gave it a 4.5 out of 10. It was a better game than Qbert, but it was still really bad due to the frustrating difficulty, the fact that, that the enemy AI was unbalanced or anything like that, and it just lots of new lots of modes to play, but just like you know it just you know, got kinda of boring after a while. It I it, another once again worth the rental. But now we're gonna zoom ahead to June 1st, 1999. We're gonna return to talk about, about the arcade, arcade class, Atari Classic Centipede. Where you shoot the centipede to get the highest score, we have levels, shoot the mushrooms, just simple minded fun. We're gonna have a, have a look at it, a 3D version of Centipede, right here called Centipede, for the PlayStation, Sega Dreamcast, PC, and the Game Yeah, on June 1st, 1999. Centipede is a better game than the other two, where it's playable. Where well, you can call it a game, but it's not a, a great game, it's an average game at best due to the problems that play like an extremely unstable frame rate where it's so bad where you will think the, the game is broken and the game gets repetitive after a while with a certain amount of missions. But it's not all bad though because we have fun factor to it, but the fun factor is not there completely though. Centipede does actually have a story. It does not need one, but hey I'm okay with it. Centipede stars Wally Goodmundsen, who pilots the shooter that's named the ship. He is tasked with stopping the destruction of the, of the Weedham villages from the army of large insects at the hands of their leader, the Queen Pete. That is all the story, and that's all you need. Because, yeah, it's kind of bizarre, but it's meant to be that way. It's an arcade classic. Atari arcade classic. Centipede is basically in this version is shoot, 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 rescue the citizens, protect the village, and more. It is fun at first, I mean, simple minds shoot at the bad guys, rescue people, and defend a part of the level for points. How could you not have fun? Well, problems occur when this is all you do. No changes to the game at all. Sure, there's occasional boss fights here and there, but that's it. 23 levels of the same stuff. Sure, there are other stuff like shooting mushrooms, getting points, and other stuff for points. But for the most part, you just shoot the targets, rescue the citizens, and defend a, a, and defend a, an object, so the, a, and defend a house like that, and, and there you go. Graphics are okay for a PlayStation game, but they're a little blocky though, especially the enemy miles and the objects in the background. The cutscenes look pretty good here, still look good to this day. Weapon effects look awesome, especially when you blow things up when you shoot the mushrooms and stuff look cool. If there's one positive thing about Centipede, it's the sound. I tell you, I love the sound of Centipede. The music is very memorable, the corny techno tune you hear, blast that shit up and party with the Centipede. That song I'll never forget, it is so badass and I love that song, it's very cool. The voice acting, the narrator, I like it, it's really cool, booyah to that baby. They did really well with the sound, like some of the best sound in the video game, but why did they not put much effort in other parts of the game? Sure the game is playable, I can call it a game, there's some fun that can be had here which I can give them props for, but the game I know it's a remake of a classic arcade Atari game, but a game released, released that, at that, around that time at full price and it's all, this is all you do, it comes off as disappointing. I would give them credit for having the arcade option instead of play the classic version of Centipede, which is something I wish the Pong next level did. And the arcade version on here, on here it's fun, I like it, sure you'll stick the adventure mode here more and more and stuff like that, but you know, it's good that they have it here. 
there's some goods here still, like different camera angles, but you have to hold down the triangle button to get the behind the back camera, which is kind of weird. You have multiplayer, which can be fun. I do not, ha not have anyone to play with, so I cannot show any footage of it. The story is not bad, a little hokey, but what you expect in a game like this. It can be fun for about an hour, and 23 levels can be somewhat lengthy. Shooting mushrooms can be fun in this game, I mean, I do not like to eat mushrooms, so it's fun to shoot them away for points. A lot of stuff to shoot for points, definitely. Still, the game could have been better. It's more playable than Tubert and Palm next level, but not by much. Final thoughts? I can recommend this game to check out. A worth owning, but, but I would not get, get, get that full price done, that is the thing. I can call, I, I can consider having your collection, but could have been better, is all. Kind of a rental to the same time, but still. I give Centipede a 5.5 out of 10. Still not a, not a good start here to the game, but this is better, and I call it a game. Still not a good start here, but I still have hope. That's it for episode 282, part 3 of 5 part. Stay tuned for the next part, we're going to take a look at Missile Command. How does this fare? We had three not so good games, maybe this one will change, change, change his mind. How will it fare? It's the final next, which all I gotta say is Tony, peace out, have a good day, and see you all in the next part, look at Missile Command. Take care everybody.